I just picked it up and I saw the end zone. And I was just saying to myself, I got to get there. Did you think for a second, oh man, he, he may catch me? He um, at first I kind of slowed down. I didn't think so. And then when I felt him coming and grazing at the ball, I just put both arms around it and fell in the end zone. Just talk about defensively, the way you guys played. I mean, to be able to be able to control an offense like that, that's that's not an easy task. Uh, we really just played as a team, man. We did what we've been doing. We've been building each week, and we've just been working together and being assignment side. Especially with a team like that that runs so much misdirection stuff, you never know what they're going to throw at you. How much did preparing the past couple weeks teach you guys, man, if we prepare like this all the time, the outcome can be like this all the time? Uh, definitely. Um, every week we prepare, and each week that we prepare, we just got better and better. So we figured out what our thing that we had to do, and we just try to make each practice perfect. How important is this weekend, coming off a big win, knowing you need to keep up that same mentality week to week? Um, it's, definitely, it's definitely good. We were definitely at this place last year, except for we were number three. And, you know, I think we got a little bit too high with uh, being number three. So now we know how to keep it. We got to stay steady and not get too high with the highs. We just have to continue to do what we've been doing six weeks ago. Does what happened last year up in NC State kind of still resonate with you guys? Um, yeah, um, I mean, it does, but we're just taking it one game at a time. We don't we don't look at it like or a revenge game or just like that. We just take it as they're the next guy on the schedule. Coach Fisher always talks about eliminating the clutter, eliminating all the distractions. You guys have done a fantastic job about that this year. This weekend, though, you have Bobby Bowden come back. Is that kind of hard to not kind of put that in the back burner, knowing, hey, we got a legendary coach coming back? <laughs> um, definitely. It definitely is. But, you know, we, we have to go out there and win it for Bobby. Don't go out there and just you know, get distracted by everything and everyone who's going to be out there because they're coming to watch us play, and we don't want to let them down. So we definitely have to go out there and just stay focused. Your dad played for him, was one of the best players that ever played for him. <laughs> what has he told you about him, and have you ever gotten a chance to meet him? I've never got a chance to meet Bobby, but from what my dad told me, he was an amazing guy. You know, he was uh, he, he, he sat up there in that big skybox up there and just coached it and watched it, but he was a pretty good guy. Earlier you talked about last year how you guys were number three and it kind of maybe gave you a little bit, uh, maybe a big head. This year, now that you're two, we're asking everybody about the BCS standing. How does number two feel with you, and are you going to be doing something different with it, it's kind of going off what you just said earlier? Um, number two, is, I mean, we feel great about it. You know, we're finally showing the world that Florida State is uh, back and it's a good team, but we're, we're not going to let us be number two handicap us into this game and make it where we're going to get unfocused and get too hype with this. We're just going to do what we've been doing from week one, practice perfect and just do our assignments. You know, the game last week, how did it feel being a part of a team that broke a five-game losing streak in Memorial Stadium? It definitely felt great, man. We uh, set a record for, I guess, scoring the most points down there. So we And that all happened because we practiced perfect and we did our assignments and nobody did extra. We just did our job. And as long as we do our job, we'll continue to have success. We were talking to Telvin earlier a little bit about um, how no one's talking about you guys being out of rhythm in that first quarter. I mean, you guys are there. You're, you know, you're you're ready to go. You're hungry. So, do you think that's gonna keep going, or was that just you guys are really ready to play Clemson? Um, that's got to keep going because if we can do that against Clemson, then we can do it against everybody else. We don't just want to say that it was all about Clemson. The reason why we did that, I think it was just the way we prepared that whole week that made us want to go out there and compete against them. And last thing, I mean, obviously Winston's performance has, has been talked about all season, but I mean, after Clemson, Heisman rumors and talk has just exploded. So do you think he's a Heisman candidate and, and how do you feel about that? Definitely. Uh, Jameis has been doing this since last year when he was uh, – on the you know on the scout team, he was doing those crazy plays where he scramble around and run for 40 yards or scramble around and throw big passes. So it was nothing new for us to see it out there, and we definitely feel like you know he he could be a great Heisman candidate.